in the year of our Lord 1768. It's almost midnight, the witching hour. The world is aglow with sleepy silver. The clock chimed, but prisoners can't sleep. They look up through the dark hole in the ground. Their prison cell, eight feet by five feet, less than half the size of the black hole of Calcutta. They peer into the town where God's final prayer will be read. Not the town hall, but the session house, where criminal trials are held. The house has two dark prison cells in the basement. A place for murderers to be judged, tried and convicted. Thereafter, leading empty souls to their death from the hell they have created. To be tortured and killed by prison guards, led out, stripped to the waist, tied to the back of a horse-drawn cart. The public spectacle, crowds line the route, watched and jeered, the dragging of their bodies from the market square, Castlegate, Cheapside, Gracious Street, High Street, Silver Street and back to the market square before being beaten and whipped until blooded. Now the castle grounds for the hangman's noose. The gallows creaked in anticipation. Crowds, huge in number, gathered around for the public hanging. The condemned persons were insulted and pelted with rotten fruit. The smell of death hung in the air. The Lord's Prayer. The drop. <coughs> Silence. A brief surge for the touch of a freshly hanged man's hand. The gallows cure. Their death-soaked bodies hung. Later, to be cut down one body at a time. Taken to a field in Calcutt. Now, a cricket field. The other to a field on Gallows Hill, Farnham. To be gibbeted and left for the crows. As a sign for everyone to see. What dreadful punishment awaits for those of such dreadful crimes. Public executions later moved to York. On the 7th of August 1841, the following were tried, convicted and sentenced to death by hanging at York Aziz. John Burlingston of Knaresborough, threadmaker, 24. Charles Gill of Knaresborough, threadmaker, 22. Henry Nuttall of Knaresborough, in the employment of William Inchbold, a cello tadler, 19. Their crime? The murder of Joseph Cocker, widower and keeper of the White Hart beer shop near the marketplace at Knaresborough, aged 57. Thank mm-hmm. you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.